Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I've got a follow-up video on the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II. It's about its video shooting capability and what settings you need to choose in different situations. Now recently I produced a video where I took it on a trip with me to Venice, Italy and I used it as a street camera and travel camera primarily. And the benefit for me there was to use it in auto mode. So that video pretty much shows you the camera's capability in the intelligent auto mode. It pretty much handles all of the focusing of the camera and the exposure and will choose the best settings for you. Now the conditions of that shoot were ideal. It was very mild weather and it wasn't very contrasty light. Usually shot during the middle of the day or sometimes during early morning or late afternoon. So intelligent auto mode was the way to go there. Now sometimes you'll need to go into manual mode to get more control over your video. For example, I'm shooting this particular video with the OMD in front of me and I've got a light source to its right there. I've chosen to go into aperture mode so that I can control the aperture at 4.5, which gives me a slightly shallower depth of field. And also I've overexposed by one stop just so I get a more bright overall even skin tone. And that's the way I like to shoot my videos. Also, I could go into full manual mode and change the shutter speed and the aperture, but in this particular case, I've just gone into aperture priority. The other thing you might wanna do before you go into manual mode is to change the ISO setting to a manual mode rather than auto ISO. By default, the camera tends to be set on auto ISO. So to change this, go to the back of the camera, select menu and change it to either 100, 400, 800, or anywhere above that. Now, if you're shooting interiors, you're probably best off sticking with 400 or 800. Once you've done this, you're ready to go and you can now shoot in manual mode and achieve that consistent result that I was talking about. If I use this example of shooting inside this studio, but this time around the window area where I have a great range of contrast between the highlights of the windows and the shadows of the immediate interior, if I'm panning across that scene, everything will remain consistent if I'm in manual mode. If I switch to intelligent auto, the camera will attempt to adjust the exposure and that will look very unnatural and quite odd. So therefore it's best to be in manual mode for this type of scene. One other thing I wanted to mention was the use of picture mode to achieve different looks in your video. Now you may have come across this before when shooting stills. If you haven't, go to the menu option at the back of the camera. In the camera settings option one, the third one down is called picture mode. If you select that, you'll see a number of options appear that allow you to change the look of the video. The first one is intelligent enhance. You then get vivid, natural, muted, and portrait modes. Now I'm generally shooting in the natural mode because I like to do my color adjustments in post-production using my video editor. But if you want to try and do this in camera, you can play around with the different options presented here. So that's pretty much how I use the OMD M10 Mark II for my video production. I like to take advantage of the intelligent auto mode and the auto focus to make everything as simple as possible. But when I need that extra little bit of control, I'll go into the manual setting or aperture priority and adjust my settings accordingly. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any more comments about the OMD EM10 Mark II, feel free to put them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Bye for now.